What's up guys, Vital Syntax here, and there's been some new screenshots released for the Endgame Map Pack or DLC. I'm going to throw some of those screenshots up so you guys can get a look at uh, what uh, these maps are going to offer. Once again, there's going to be like an all four season type of theme, so we're going to have a, a winter map, a spring map, a summer, and a fall map. And overall, these maps look really cool so far. Uh, once again, we'll have to play on them. I'm actually really looking forward to uh, the Capture the Flag game mode. Not so much the air superiority, because I'm just not a huge uh, jet player, but uh, I am looking forward to this DLC, and I'll make sure to do some videos to cover it. All right, so over the past couple days, I've I've spent so much money uh, that I don't actually have. Um, I bought a new graphics card, a GTX 680. It's an Asus Direct CU2, uh, not top card, it's just the OC version. So it does come factory overclocked, but it's not the topped bin card. Uh, I might do some videos talking about that, um, maybe showing you guys it in my rig and showing you guys some performance benchmarks and stuff if people are interested in, in that type of thing. But overall, I am incredibly impressed in it. It's insanely good temperatures, insanely good frame rate. So uh, definitely an awesome card. Uh, I also got a new case, uh, 550D from Corsair. I got a new desk, which I got an incredibly good price. I got a new desk chair, and I got a new cell phone, a Galaxy Note 2, which is a new kind of adventure for me because I'm switching over from uh, an iPhone 4, and I've used iPhone, uh, the iOS system, ever since the very first gen iPhone. Um, so I'm quite used to that operating system, and I really like iOS. Um, but so far, the Note 2 has been absolutely amazing. It's, it's so freaking big. It's massive, but my hands are pretty big, so it doesn't feel that, that out of place. Anyway... Crisis 3 is also coming out this Tuesday. I know I've made a, you know, talked about Crisis 3's release date quite a bit recently, but um, we're going to be doing some playthrough of the single player as well as lots of multiplayer day one stuff. I did pre-order the, uh, I don't know, the, the digital deluxe version or whatever that includes the soundtrack. So I'm going to throw some of those soundtrack uh, into the background of my videos. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that as well as a bunch of other soundtracks I've downloaded recently like Uncharted. Uh, there's, a bunch, there's a couple other games. Um, <clears throat> And I've also, with that uh, special pre-order thing that cost me like 80 bucks, it was a ridiculous price. Uh, it also gives me like early access to some of the weapons. I started at a higher level, so hopefully I'll be able to give you guys some videos about the multiplayer um, that other people won't be able to give you that you know maybe aren't that don't get that kind of head start with the multiplayer. Uh, this morning I tweeted out that I wanted to people to send me in questions to start a inbox, mailbox, mail Monday, whatever you want to call it. There's a lot of different YouTubers that do this type of thing, which is like a Q&A uh, type of video where users submit questions. And for my for my uh, series, it's going to be whatever you want. It can be related to Battlefield. It can be related to Crisis. It can be a question of, you know, this is my budget. What hardware would you recommend for a PC gamer? Or it can be off-topic stuff. Honestly, I don't care. Um, but uh, you can either leave a comment on this video. If you would like to ask a question, you can either send me a YouTube message or you can uh, tweet at me or message me on my on the, uh, the Vital Syntax Facebook page, both my Twitter and Facebook, or on the link of this video and all my other videos. So you can message me your question in any way, shape, or form as you want. And if I think it's a good question, which I probably will. I mean, I'm not going to get very many questions just because I'm not that big of a YouTuber. Um, then I'll probably answer all the ones that I can in an episode, and then I'll try and make it a weekly thing or a bi-weekly thing. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, but I thought it'd be a, a, a kind of a fun series to start up. And then the last thing I wanted to ask you guys is 1080p versus 720p. So in this, in this, uh, the, the comment section of this video, I'm going to leave two comments. Uh, one's going to say 720p, one's going to say 1080p. And what I want you to do is give a thumbs up to the resolution that you use and a thumbs down to the resolution that you don't use. So if you watch my videos or other YouTube videos in 1080p uh, most of the time, doesn't have to be all the time, but on average if you watch videos in 1080p then give it a thumbs up and give 720p a thumbs down. If you watch my videos in 720p or lower, if you watch in 480p or any other lower resolutions, then give 720p a thumbs up and give 1080p a thumbs down. The reason I'm get, having you do a thumbs up and thumbs down is because obviously some people are going to, if I just said give it a thumbs up, then a bunch of people are going to give it a thumbs down anyway. So what, well, the reason I want to do this is I want to gauge my audience and see how, what percentage of you guys actually take advantage of 1080p videos um, because it does take quite a bit more uh, time to 
uh, render 1080p videos to work with 1080p raw footage in the first place. It also takes up a lot more space. I only have a 500 gig, uh, gig recording hard drive at the, at the time right now, uh, and that can be eaten up just by a couple hours of footage, like maybe two hours of footage, and I've already used it all up. Um, and also, it just takes a lot longer to upload, much other hassles, but I will go through that if the majority uh, or even a large portion of my viewers watching 1080p. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will see you soon with Crisis 3, and thanks for watching.